Hi, Patty. It's nice to see you and talk I to do. you. I do too, Janet. <laughs> well, we had fun talking to you earlier, but now I want to talk more about your role here and about the discrimination during that era and how relevant this show is even up to this day. I think it's better than it was. And I think that, um, well, I was just watching Dark Victory the other night as one of my quarantine uh, exercises. And there was the black maid with her back to the camera saying nothing. And it's prevalent in the films of the day um, where they are maids. They are exactly how it's portrayed in Hollywood. Um, I think that with the filmmakers that are emerging, the African-American filmmakers that are emerging now and the strength in the music, the music industry, um, that things are changing. Maybe not fast enough, but they are changing. Um, and I hope someday we stop discriminating anybody in this country because this country is made up of everybody from around the world, everybody. And talk about that love scene with uh, David, how you okay. teach him and how sexy. <laughs> well, I David and I had just met. Da Sorry, Janet, what was that last part? Did Ryan give you a lot of tips or was that improvisation on your part? No, it was written and um, they had an intimacy coach because now we have to do everything with an intimacy coach. But David and I both graduated from the Juilliard Drama Division. I introduced myself to David. I, hi, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm group one. He was group, I don't know what he was. I'm afraid to say what group he was. But we had a shorthand because we were both graduated from the same acting school and we knew that. And so that sort of uh, removed the first layer of tension. And then both of us are, you know, seasoned actors enough to go, okay, this is what's written and this is what we have to do. And the intimacy coach was there to make it easier for two actors who didn't necessarily need an intimacy coach to make it easier. Um, I just said, when you get to that part, just pinch my leg so I know when you're getting to that part so that I can react. And that was it, you know what I mean? And it was, you know, they're oddly unsexual, oddly unsexy because you're, doing it over and over again and it's not that's it's you know you're working with an actor you don't necessarily have a sexual rapport with it's just not something it's just work basically he's a very handsome man <laughs> i agree and, and i adore him but i had a sex scene with dylan as well who's a very sexy and handsome man and got in the van with him when it was done and I went dylan you know what these things are oddly unsexy they are unsexy <laughs> it's work. Talk about also uh, bonding with Darren Chris and singing in his bar and also singing in the van with him. Uh, Darren is a musical theater nerd. He's a, he's a theater nerd. He knows so much about the theater, so much more than I do. And it was great to just talk theater with him. Joe Montello was on the set when Darren was there and Holland and Jim. And we would talk a lot about the shows we were about to see, D Jeremy Pope as well. The shows, if, if we got back to New York, what we would see, uh, what we had seen. And um, I took Darren to see The Sound Inside when we wrapped this and he was coming to New York to rehearse uh, American Buffalo and I was in rehearsal for company. Uh, we met up at um, Victor's Cuban Cafe in the bar and um, it felt like a real Broadway moment. And then I took him to the theater, it was, what, is, what was Studio 54. And it's just fun to see someone that is that involved in theater. You don't necessarily see a whole lot of young kids or successful as Darren is involved in the theater and he is. Thank the, you. The, the young cast, Janet, are incredible. They're incredible, they're sweet, they're talented, lovely people and I wish them the absolute best in their careers. Thank you very much, Patty. I would like to talk longer, but our time's up. Thank you. Well, we did it, Janet. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.